Hey everybody, welcome back. Welcome to Magic Orthodoxy. This is my channel. This is where I do reviews for cards, games, magic, mentalism, Rubik's Cubes, what have you. Today, lucky you, we're doing a deck review. <laughs> Today we're going to look at the Manticore Blanc from Benjamin Liu and Ido Huang. All right, Manticore. This is the second Manticore deck I have reviewed. I did my first review for Manticore back in 2016. 2016. Uh, and I think at that time it was a Legends deck. This time around, it's a Cardamundi deck. Uh, reason for the name? Uh, Manticore is a legendary creature from Persia. It's kind of similar to uh, a Sphinx, like in Egypt, like it's a hybrid of like different things mixed together. So it has the head of a human, the body of a lion, the tail of a uh, scorpion, and it usually has like porcupine quills all over it. But the reason why this deck is called Manticore is not because of that. Uh, Siegfried and Roy, who are famous magicians out in Vegas, they had a tiger named Manticore, and this deck is named after that tiger. And so what Benjamin Liu wanted to do was to raise awareness for tigers through this deck. And uh, tigers are endangered. And in most cases, the reason why they are endangered is because of illegal hunting for their fur, uh, their meat, their body parts, which are used in different folk medicines. And they're also endangered because of habitat loss that happens through deforestation. So with your purchase of the Manticore decks, you are helping to raise awareness for tigers and their possible extinction. The other cool thing about this deck is uh, it's it's called Manticore Blanc. However, this is not a recolor. The first Manticore was red, but this is not a black recolor of the red. This is a totally new deck. The tuck case is all done in black with gold foil. It says Manticore Blanc across the top and playing cards underneath. One side says Save the Tigers, and the other side says Printed by Cardamundi. The bottom has some ad copy about Benjamin Liu and Nito Huang. The top simply says Manticore Blanc, and the back design, of course, is the back design of the cards. The tongue flap says the world is a jungle and the two tiny tongue flaps have the artist's initials. That is pretty much everything I can say about this tuck case. Let's open it up. Let's look at these cards. Like I said, these cards come to us from Cardamundi, so they're gonna look and feel great. The back design has a kind of implied border. There's no hard edge. There's no hard line. You have a top circle and a bottom circle similar to a rider back. You have the Manticore M on the left and right and that gold there in the center. Yep, that's gold foil. Black and white with gold foil tiger stripes. The other really cool thing about this back design is it's a one-way image and I think magicians will really like the hidden subtlety. With this deck, you're gonna get one ad card for Card Mundi. Also, you're gonna get a double backer that has red on one side and the new black gold foil on the other. And you'll also get a raise awareness card for Tigers. That only leaves you with one card left for a Joker, and it is a snarling tiger amidst some rocks and bamboo. Your Ace of Spades is nice and big. There's a lot going on there. It says Manticore at the top and has a tiger walking around a large spade pip. It seems he's scratched it with his claws and there's some forestry around that and it's just playing cards underneath. Your subsequent three aces also all have a tiger on them and the tiger is scratching or making scratch marks against the large center pip. Your pips and indice cards will look standard, however they are not bicycle standard. Uh, the pips in the corner, even if it's a red suit or a black suit, they're all black, which I like. I like the fact that the indices don't change color, only the pips, so that's a neat feature. It's also a sans serif font, so there's no curls or curly cues in it. But your blacks are black, your reds are red, everything should be recognizable. Your court cards are absolutely stunning. Your court cards are absolutely gorgeous. They're completely original. They stay true to their originals, but they've all been redrawn from the ground up. So you will see similar elements as far as clothing style, uh, hair pieces, and weapons, but they are completely redrawn and they're all done in the red and black colors of the deck. And the last cool thing about the faces are the faces are also one-way design. And it's a very subtle 
one-way design that I don't think would even show up in gameplay. Well, that's everything I can say about how the cards look, but you also want to know how they feel. Hey, if you've held the new Cardamundi stock that have come out since the Copag 310s, you know exactly how these feel. If I stick 10 of these in a caliper, it comes to 3.08. 3.08 is, of course, a thicker stock, something that you and I would call maybe a casino-grade stock, but Cardamundi makes great cards. So you're going to love this deck. Hey, that's pretty much everything I can say about Manticore Blanc from Benjamin Liu. Ido Huang, I want to thank Benjamin Liu for allowing me to have this deck so that I could do the review for you. And you can find it wherever quality playing cards are sold. I'll put a link below in the description. Thanks, guys. I'll see you next time. Bye.